Let's try to generate OTP from our .NET MAUI app and we'll be using Twilio as our server to generate OTP and uh, which can be usable for our OTP verification too in our uh, .NET MAUI app. So our first and foremost step is to register to this site. During the time of registration, it will ask for your phone number. So try to give your valid phone number and then you will get a verification code if you are a valid user then here uh, you can see uh, i have to add uh, what do you plan to build with uh, twilio so here i'll just uh, tell other and then which product are uh, are you here to use and here i'm going to use the sms only with code so we'll be selecting with code section and then what is your preferred language then we'll be using the csub for sure no i want to host my own uh, from our, our, our service that is like i don't want to host uh, uh, from Twilio anything okay so at first and foremost we'll see this uh, website uh, and it will ask me to generate a phone number so this phone number is uh, the from phone number that is uh, usable for uh, sending the sms to the uh, two phone numbers that means this is from and to and uh, from from then we will be using this server phone number so i will be creating a brand new dotnet maui app at first so at first we'll be removing the uh, button code over here and then here i'll just uh, change the uh, button text to send me then i'll be removing this line of code and then here we'll be changing our level to entry and giving the x name to two phone number so i have already mentioned you about from and two phone number so two phone number dot text this is the entry so we'll be extracting out the text so in order to extract out the text we'll be using a variable name as string and two phone number so two phone number is the phone number that uh, will be sending the uh, sms notification to okay so at first uh, then we have to use our uh, uh, supporting documents from the twilio so here you can see we have document and uh, support section so we'll be going to developer uh, docs then uh, here we'll be selecting the sms because uh, we want the sms uh, feature uh, that is our otp generation so when clicking on send your first post sms then you will get uh, this section where we'll be selecting the csa so actually we need to just copy this line of code that is that is it okay so we'll be pasting the code code over here and we'll be replacing uh, it uh, with the two phone number that will be uh, generating from our mobile ui so it requires uh, our uh, twilio plugin at first so we'll be adding twilio plugin uh, that is this plugin that is uh, twilio rest api helper library so this all the plugin integrations has to be done on the asp.net core uh, web api so in the web api project we'll be adding all the ssids and authentication token code so don't uh, add it over here just for this demo i'm adding the authentication sid and over here to make this demo faster and uh, to make it work also so here uh twilio client will get inherited from these two namespaces so watch it out we have other namespaces too so here we'll be using these two namespaces uh from the twilio and then here we'll be adding our auth token uh from our uh, uh, server side that is our twilio website so here i'll just uh, get the auth code from here so i'll hide this code because this is my private auth code and we'll be changing it to the android android phone so here i'll be running the whole project on the android phone and let's see whether we get uh, some type of text or not so here we'll be entering the phone number that we have used during the time of registration to twilio that is our private number so this number uh, is a valid number so along with the uh, plus extension sign uh, so this is my mobile number uh, and then uh, i'm just going to see whether it gives a successful output or not so let's see let's wait so yeah uh, it successfully ran the code and we got the message too and if your account is valid then you will see uh, such type of uh, messages and uh, along with the uh, date creations um, items too over here you can see i got the notification that is something like a, uh, let me go back 
so here hi there uh, this is a uh, twilio of uh, trial account and uh, and i'm sending a message hi there okay so if you have a valid account that means if you have a paid account then this sent you from your twilio trial account or uh, message won't be seen because uh, uh, right now we are in pre, pre account that's why we are seeing it now our next uh, work is to uh, copy and paste uh, the pre written code that I have uh, written for uh, generating the otp and which will be useful for whenever you are creating uh, the otp verification apps so i'll be copying and uh, pasting over here okay so i'll be giving this whole code on my videos description below you can just uh, uh like uh, take it from there and this is how we generate the otp for the verification you can just uh, uh, create another button and then when clicking on it then you can verify whether the uh, the otp that was sent from the uh, server and the otp that was uh, uh sent from the client app are same or not if it is valid then you can navigate to a home page okay so here i have entered this uh, otp so uh, from the server uh, we get a otp that your otp is something like this and you will uh, validate on your mobile app that's all